I could not be here breathing and be comfortable if I was really as bad as they was making, you know, and nobody could be around me. So for me to be this calm, I must have some kind of inner peace. And my inner peace is knowing that once everybody takes the time to really see what type of person I am, you'd be surprised that I stuck around this long. I have to make the life that I do live as happy as I can and try to do the best with what I have. Do, you know, live the best life I can live, be as happy as I can be. N nothing is perfect for anybody. I don't know. Boys, I swear, I think I figured it out. You know why they don't want us redneck brothers and sisters and the hood brothers and sisters getting along? You know why? Because we'd be unstoppable. I'm telling you right now, we would shut shit down. Um, I add this on agenda and um, I'll, I guess we'll make a motion so that we can um, add this to transfer this to the committee of the whole also. Um, the discussion is the, the, the fines. So we have an ordinance number 23-009 where on August the 7th, uh, 2023, um, you propose that we raise um, some of the fines in the village and one of them was the grass fees. So I remember this clear as yesterday, um, you told us that there, that there were a lot of abandoned properties in the village and that the banks weren't doing the maintenance on it. And then trustee Stan Brown, he um, second that uh, it was becoming a problem so that we should do something like increase the fine so that we could inf well make um, or so that the banks can have more of an incentive to make sure that the grass was cut. And I was totally for um, that in terms of the banks. But what we weren't told is that the $500 fee is for, um, for everyone. So um, I have landlords that's calling me stating that their tenants are being presented with $500 fines so for a lack of grass cutting. And that wasn't what I personally agreed to. I thought that the plan was to ticket the, to go up in fees for the banks only. So now that we have uh, tenants or landlords calling, I'd like to take this to the committee of the whole so that we can have discussions so that we can make some changes and discuss it with the residents in regards to who these fines, um, let's specify the, the difference between the banks and the landlords and the, the homeowners in regards to the, the fines. Okay, well, I pray that we're not doing that. I pray that it's definitely going to uh, the bank. Um, so we will look into that and this goes back to what I've just seen. We put stuff on the agenda. We can't give you answers currently because no one knows what you're looking for. You just put village fines. That could be anything from a ticket to uh, garage address missing, but no one was specific in what it is that they're looking for. So we just need you guys to let the department heads know what you're looking for. So when we come to a meeting, we're better equipped and we got to kick the can down the road again to have another meeting that we should have got resolved today if people would have told us what they're looking for. So I'm definitely fine with going over this and clearing it up. Um, but also you guys have to take responsibility for not paying vendors uh, their money for the high grass. The high grass is scattered through our community. Y'all know we have over 400 vacancies, and y'all know that public works cannot cut all the vacant properties. And you guys have to work better at uh, coming up with a plan because right now we don't have it as it relates to from you. You guys come here, you dictate and tell us what you guys want us to do, but there's no plan in place from the board that wants to tell us how to run the day-to-day -day, which i keep telling y'all y'all legislate y'all do not govern the day-to-day -day operation but i just wish you guys would pay people their money so that they can come out and cut the high grants thank, thank you Mia, for that um so it's just and this is just for the record at this point this is for the residents i find it uh interesting that she continues to act as if she does not know what we're referring to when we talked about the leases i wasn't going to say anything but you signed them so if you sign the leases, how are you unaware of the, le the, the leases in which we are referring to? It's the smoke and the mirrors. I sit here and I said, you know what, Lord, I was going to let it go. But you were the one who brought it to us 
to increase the fines. So if we had a cow meet, and this is for the residents, right? Because she keeps saying, oh, um, the trustees this, the trustees that. Let's, just so you all know, there's a thing called checks and balances. That's why we're all up here, right? So we really shouldn't even have to go back and forth with who knows what. The goal is for you to run it past the board, which is us here, to tell us what you're doing and then us approve it. What you've been doing is you do everything on your own and then when we revert it back and say, hey, no, you weren't supposed to do that, you sit here and say, oh, I don't know what you all are referring to. Like, what the fuck? She keep talking. $75 is okay. That is reasonable. Yeah, not $75 per square foot. Don't don't change it. You know, got to make the money. No, $75. Second offense, if this person is habitual, it goes up to 100 Third, 125 Fourth, you get um, a court and it's in court. How about that? And because I had, because I had got in trouble one time and they had downgraded to like some type of house ordinance for $500 because it was some other shit like disorderly conduct. <laughs> huh. Yeah, go look that up. That's not in the system. Anyway, they switched it because they know I'm such a good person. And the only reason why I got disorderly because people was pieces of shit. You know what I'm saying? But like that, you see what I'm saying? That's like the ultimate fine. Does that make sense, y'all? $75, then $100, then 125 You know, let's be human here. Fuck you talking about make money off the people. So we were looking for that. And this goes back to what I've just seen. Kendra, they both agreed on this. Like, damn, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to shut the fuck up on that one. Yeah, I hope that's not happening. Agenda, we can't give you answers currently because no one knows what you're looking for. You just put village fines. That could be anything from a uh, ticket to a uh, garage address missing. But no one was specific in what it is that they're looking for. So we just need you guys to let the department heads know what you're looking for. So when we come to a meeting, we're better equipped and we got to kick the can down the road again to have another meeting that we should have got resolved today. If people would have told us what they're looking for. I'm about to put my, I'm definitely fine with yeah. going over this and clearing it up. Um, but also you guys have to take responsibility for not paying oh, vendors you know uh, their money for the high grants. The high grants is scattered through our community. Y'all know we have over 400 vacancies and y'all know that public works cannot cut all the vacant properties. And you guys have to work better at uh, coming up with a plan because right now we don't have it as it relates to from you. You guys come here, you dictate and tell us what you guys want us to do, but there's no plan in place from the board that wants to tell us how to run the day-to-day, -day, which I keep telling y'all, y'all legislate, y'all not govern the day-to-day -day operation. Listen. But I just wish you guys would pay people their money so that they can come out and cut the high grants. Thank, thank you, man, for that. Um, so it's just, just, this is just for the record. Point, the record. Talking about what I find it uh, interesting that she continues to act as if she does not know what we're referring to. When we talked about the leases, I wasn't going to say anything, but you signed them. So if you sign the leases, how are you unaware of the, le the, the leases in which we are referring to? It's the smoke and the mirrors. I sit here and I said, you know what, Lord, I was going to let it go. But you were the one who brought it to us to increase the fines. So if we had a cow meet, and this is for the residents, right? Because she keeps saying, oh, um, the trustees this, the trustees that. Let's, just so you all know, there's a thing called checks and balances. That's why we're all up here, right? So we really shouldn't even have to go back and forth with who knows what. The goal is for you to run it past the board, which is us here, to tell us what you're doing and then us approve it. What you've been doing is you do everything on your own. And then when we revert it back and say, hey, no, you weren't supposed to do that. You sit here and say, oh, I don't know what you all are referring to. I mean, I have to get back to you on that. Let's stop doing that. Let's oh. have the meeting. Again, I would like to set it forth so that we can have cow meetings. Let's go back to having two meetings per month like we're supposed to in our ordinance. And that'll prevent a lot of this you acting as if you don't know because okay. if we all have this conversation with the residents they'll know we'll know and you'll know we're this is a team effort it's team dalton not a one-man band thank you mayor okay so what i truly believe trustee I know. I know. is that you got you in particular want to decrease the fines because you got tickets on your house for the high grits your bushes want cut your grass wants to right so you remind me of trustee valerie stubbs that put in an ordinance. Put uh oh, this not set the bulldog. But I'm sorry, I get like that, like a pit bull. Valerie Stubb was not fucking happy with her name being pulled up. She like, yeah, like Valerie Stubb, make an ordinance to support yourself. You mad because you got a ticket? Yup, she said, get one inch high, bitch. I'm giving you motherfucking tickets. Gotta. That's how petty they are, y'all. I put the right cat.
I could not be here breathing and be comfortable if I was really as bad as they was making me. You know, nobody could be around me. So for me to be this calm, I must have some kind of inner peace. And my inner peace is knowing that once everybody takes the time to really see what type of person I am, you'd be surprised that I stuck around this long. I have to make the life that I do live as happy as I can and try to do the best with what I have. Do, you know, live the best life I can live, be as happy as I can be. N nothing is perfect for anybody. I don't know. Boys, I swear, I think I figured it out. You know why they don't want us redneck brothers and sisters and the hood brothers and sisters getting along? You know why? Because we'd be unstoppable. I'm telling you right now, we would shut shit down. The real estate market often seems like a distant world where only an elite of experts is successful. In a time of so much uncertainty in the air and bad news, realist investing can seem intimidating. But today, I want to tell you that if you make the right decision today, you can enter the real estate market from the back door. Bad credit record? No credit at all. Do you dread the idea of having a home loan? Do you dream of owning investment properties? You are in the right place and right time because we have created a program which is a tax lien and deed investment online course of only 14 hours. This course is specially designed for people like you who have big dreams. You will learn at your own pace and everything from your home computer. This is your chance. Join our membership for $19.99 a year. What are you waiting for? Visit our website primetimehomebuyerbuyback.org and sign up today for course access.